that's what I'm expecting because that's the way my life goes. If there's a hole out here, I have yet to miss it. That's some hay sure enough right there. Our little baseball field out there. Not really. It's here. What in the world? I was starting to worry that maybe I'd been hoodooed because I've been hoodooed before. I've got a really, 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 really bad problem right now. So, here we go. Yeah, they're lighter. The barley's lighter than the corn. It's oh, just wow. a lot dustier. If you stay low with it, it won't get up in your face as bad. <laughs> Someone got up and wanted to go with us this morning for a change here lately. <laughs> yeah. That time when you talk to yourself for a minute thinking you're recording, but you're really not. So anywho, I, let me try this again. I am going to check on Lawrence. He is cutting hay. He's cutting hay down that long dirt, red, burnt, red, burnt. Let me just stop. He's cutting hay down that long red dirt road where he uh, planted sorghum over the corn, where the corn got flooded. So he's cutting that. He took his lunch with him today, which consisted of beanie weenies and nabs, but, I'm taking him some tea because he doesn't have any of that and I want to see how things are going and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a phone meeting. I need to mow. I was saying that it is still hot today but the humidity is not as bad and I think even if it's just a percent better you can just really tell the difference because it's been like an absolute oven. Anywho, so Bonnie and I are going to do that get back in time for my meeting and then there's something supposed to be coming via freight today and uh it's kind of like one of these things where I'll believe it when I see it because I bought it on eBay that scares me a little bit but anywho I'm fully expecting the freight man to call while I'm also on the phone for my meeting and it's gonna be a mess that's what I'm expecting because that's the way my life goes Okay, yes, I'm putting on my seatbelt to go a couple hundred yards for the seatbelt police. Well, that wash job from a couple weeks ago is gonna be ruined now. <laughs> Look at that dust. Back at the Emerald City, y'all. Beans, sorghum, down. A lot of it's down. I don't see the farmer. This other sorghum that we cut, let's see, we cut it on July 4th. Remember that Freedom Farming video? Yeah, it's coming back pretty strong. It really is. Wait, there he is, he's sitting in the shade. He must be eating his lunch, so hello. Perfect timing. If there's a hole out here, I have yet to miss it. <laughs> She's tall, he said it was six foot tall or more. I'd say he's right. Still got to cut all that. And all that is down. That's going to make some hay, y'all. I think so. So! Sorry I yelled, but so, Rita. Rita's going to get a workout again soon. You need to get out, Bonnie. It's too hot to sit in the truck. move a little bit so I can get to him on the other side. Look y'all. That's some hay sure enough right there. He said I should have got here earlier because this that he's cut is a lot, it's even taller than that that I just 
photograph over there where it looks better. Oh, I'm not worried about it. He also said, oh, something bit me. Uh, he said the beans need some rain. So they were already stunted because of the flooding, so they're short and they're starting to dry up some, but you sure don't need it to rain on this hay and there is a 50% chance of storms, but there's that chance every single day in the foreseeable future. And there was that chance yesterday, the last two days, and we didn't get any, so. Sometimes you just gotta make a call. And you just gotta go for it. Hope for the best. Well, all the time, not just sometimes. Every day around here. complaining about having to go slower because it was so thick. He said he was having to cut in fifth gear. I don't know what he usually cuts in. I rate hay in fifth gear and I thought that was pretty fast. <laughs> I just got done in my trough office on my phone call. Tried it from the kitchen, but kept dropping the call. So I had to come up here to the barn where I have service. I am working on a fun project that I cannot tell you about yet because I don't have everything ironed out. But when I do, you'll be the first to know. So there's a little teaser for you. All right, let's go mow the grass in the 2.30 p.m. heat of the day way that cookie crumbles. I said that in the last video. Maybe I'll say it again. It's the first thing that pops in my mind. How, how else would you say that? It's the way the ball rolls. It's the way the hell, hell bell. It's the, it's the way the hay bell rolls. Is that like, what's another farm way we can say that saying? I don't know. Just throwing it out there. again man I miss I miss the backfires I really do yeah okay all done all did mm. our little baseball field out there not really still waiting on something that might or might not be coming we'll see well I'll be doggone it's here what in the world he must be staying right there okay I guess I'll move. Well, yes, y'all, if you haven't already guessed it, I ordered us a pool. I did, I ordered us a pool. 
Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence does not think it's very necessary, but I know the kids are gonna enjoy it. I have never bought anything quite like this, but you know what? I've justified it lots of ways. We haven't had a vacation in quite a while, quite a while. Uh, so we didn't spend any money on that this summer. I didn't spend any money on summer camps. Uh, this will be something they can just jump out there and get in. And I can. Woo. And uh, I really think that Lawrence will use it some too. Even if he thinks he won't. I think he will. So, now, to see if I can get it set up. Also, I ordered that thing on eBay and I was starting to worry that maybe I'd been hoodooed because I've been hoodooed before because I trust everyone to a fault. Um, so anyway, but I'm glad to see that it came and, uh, oh, well, I was going to say there's, there's basically a huge pool shortage in the United States of America this year because of COVID, I reckon. So, uh, it was hard to find, but I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it because I shopped, I shopped around. Anyway, yeah, we got a pool. Does not mean we'll not still go to the river here and there, but we're gonna have a watering hole right beside the house that doesn't have any manure next to it or a strong current to pull us away. And we can still use the unicorn. So, there's that. Okay, it's 6.30 and we have about eight things going on. So, he decided it's definitely time to move cows. So, and we need to do it when it's not really hot. So, he and the kids have gone to the bottom, back to the bluff, those ones we moved a couple weeks ago, to get them out of there and start them back towards the corral. I am going to be cooking hamburgers and I'm gonna fry some corn. I've got this corn that was off the cob that I need to get cooked and something done with. It's, um, some of it was a little tough. It was, it was picked a little late. So anyway, um, I put some butter and some bacon grease in here and we're gonna put this in it and I don't know what else, but I'll figure it out as I go. And that's what we're having. So I've just decided to put salt and pepper. <laughs> Actually, hello. We'll do a little bit of musket powder. No, let's use the red. Let's give it a little spicy spice. Okay. Oh, we know that can't be bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this cook. Um, I've got a really, 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 really bad problem right now. Really bad, y'all. Really bad. I just realized I'm out of butter. I don't have any more butter in my refrigerator. I just went to look for the butter and there's no more butter. And this is a problem for the lady who likes her beef and her butter. But I got a third of a stick in there. So hopefully that's still going to work. I just feel like a real failure for running out of butter in my whole house. I feel like I have to just breathe because today has been a lot. It's been a lot of things that have gone on. Not everything I've videoed because I don't video every single thing, y'all. But it's just been one of those days where I feel like, I just said this on Instagram, I feel like I've lived 10 lives in 10 hours. A lot of things. Anyway, nothing bad, nothing huge, nothing crazy. Just lots of little things, lots going on. Anyway, um, where was I going with this? I don't know. I got out some half and half. So, the burgers are almost done. I have decided to add a little a little of this to the end of my fried corn. I have never done this before. I don't know if it's going to work, but I feel like it's going to make it just like a little creamy and hopefully a lot good. I'll let you know. Listen to that. Yeah. We're not doing cream corn. We're not doing that. I did that recently and I have yet to vlog it. I've yet to make it a video is what I'm trying to say, but I'm going to when I can find an extra hour or so. Okay, um, yeah, like I say, this, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna let you know in a few minutes.
We're actually not really having fun yet. <laughs> but we're sweating pretty good. Yeah. Kids are getting the ladder. Coffee, Bonnie, Esther. Okay. I'm heading out here first thing. Pretty morning. Try to straighten the bottom out a little bit. Man, we worked until about 10 o'clock. But we got it up. Lawrence got it all hooked up, which was a feat. We hope it's right. I gotta get sand today. It's a sand filter. Anyway, I'm gonna start filling it up and do it in intervals so we don't drain the well. <laughs> it's 18 foot. Anyway, wow. Mm, got a little ways to go. <laughs> it's replacing blades. This is called preventive maintenance. I guess it's not really preventative if they actually need a changing. <laughs> the sand eating them up. Oh. Where that, that river washed that sand in there, even though the head, I got the head up and it ain't digging in the ground. Mm -hmm. It still blows that sand. You don't see it coming out of the back or nothing, but it's picking up enough. I didn't put blades on it yesterday before I went down there because I knew what was going to happen in the shop and oh. see, pretty well had it. Mm. Sand farming is for the birds. <laughs> oh. It's still hot this morning, isn't it, buddy? Even in the shade with a breeze. I'm sweating. Okay, y'all, the water is full, filled, whatever. Um, Bonnie's ready to go. We're going. It is, it is finally a good day to work some cows and separate some calves. And it really is a good day because it's overcast. It rained last night. It's overcast. It's much cooler this morning than it has been. And um, so, here we go.